South Korea will compensate medical staff fighting COVID-19. Their hard work obviously paying off as the number of new daily infections has been below 10 for more than a week. The government is also reviewing the right time to get students back at schools. Kim Ji-hyun has the full story. The number of newly confirmed cases recorded in Korea Monday was 10, raising the total to 10,738. It marked the ninth day in a row the number of new infections stayed at 10 or below. The government says it will implement ways to compensate medical staff and facilities that have fought hard in the battle against the coronavirus. Medical staff will be compensated through the state occupational health and safety insurance if they contract the virus while treating COVID-19 patients. South Korea also plans to announce new guidelines for schools by early May. Its options include starting semesters for middle and high school seniors or having students come to school at different times. These measures come amid the government's concern that a second wave of the virus could spread as social distancing guidelines placed on religious and entertainment facilities have been relaxed. At a weekly meeting with his top aides on Monday, President Moon Jae-in said the country needs to brace itself for a protracted war against the virus, warning the public that it's too early to lower its guard just yet. President Moon participated in the nationwide hashtag Thank You Challenge, expressing gratitude to medical staff for their efforts in Korea's fight against COVID-19. He called upon the Smart Studies mascot, the baby crocodile Korean volleyball player Kim Young-young, and sign language interpreter Kwon Dong-ho to participate in the nationwide campaign, thanking them for their efforts to inform and maintain readiness amid the COVID-19 outbreak. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.